Hello gamers and welcome back. So I have finally finished <coughs> this cargo container. Took a lot longer than expected, but I have to say, I think it did turn out pretty well. We got everything uh, oriented correctly. Thing placed, and I think it turned out pretty well. We got a nice light up there. So one issue I have actually been seeing with the uh, attach to command is that when a uh, player joins and you actually have this uh, and your Zeus menu sort of added with Achilles it actually teleports everything attached to it to zero zero for no apparent reason so I'll have to experiment with that some more to actually see if I can fix that and if it's just as simple as uh, not adding it before everybody's joined or just uh, even simpler fix just uh, unadding it to the Zeus interface once I've moved it which I'm hoping is just the case but other than that we got the entire base to detail out we should be able to get everything finished hopefully uh, we'll probably do a little bit more detailing get some supplies put down here just to make everything evened out because I uh, did decide to move this crate over here so let's start Probably go here. Get another one of these in there. Uh, snapping on? No, okay. Wonder why it went to the floor then. That's weird. Um, could do like a uniform sort of box put right. I think this way would just like. No, nah, yeah. Kind of looks like a line, so might be like that yeah I think that would work and put some like explosives on top of it is that floating no it is not okay I will actually probably show this later when I'm done so what I'm actually thinking Sorry, I didn't finish that last sentence, but what I'm actually thinking is like doing uh, Bone Zeus missions where I actually create it and then play it, and I think that would could be like an interesting thing to explore. Don't think too many people have done that, for sure. I don't know. So, ammunition crate right here. Sort of like tie that off. Maybe put a launcher, sort of get the rotation I I can't believe I haven't found the rotation so if you didn't know I uh, found the rotation while doing a well basically this and that I didn't do that for the uh, huge base that I made so this was uh, definitely a nice thing to find it definitely makes base building a lot faster Let's see clip him with anything we'll turn this guy a little bit Turn off of that mode. If I go like that, <clears throat> should be fine. Clip in there, but I'll pull it up just a tad. Okay, can't pull it up just a tad. I'll move it back a tad then. And that should fix it. Mostly. Uh, we'll move it up a tad bit. There. Right about there. And then we'll move it to where? Like that, right there. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Yep. But right, now we just have supplies to put down on that side. So let's see. I'll probably get another one of these. Sort of do like a stack of special weapons. I think would be good. Then, like, maybe put some, some things, you know, some places. I think that would be good. Probably would be something like under construction or tools. Leave one full down. Maybe like a shovel on the wall. Sort of like. Tilted, not like that in the ground, but sort of like that. And if we f 
finish up actually pretty early I can actually show you what I've uh, done with the rest of the map because I do have some hidden locations not really that hidden because you can have them in areas but just fun little locations that I've added in just uh, more detail to the map I, I remember I think saying earlier that I wanted a vehicle in here but since I moved that there I don't think it's going to be possible anymore but that's fine Yeah, let's uh, put the USS Freedom down. I'm sure that'll fit. I think something like under air construction. Nah. Oh, uh, we'll scaffolding. That might work. But it's sort of like, nah. Maybe if I like put ammo on it, it would work. Like put some crates down here. Yeah. That will work a tab better. Think, yeah, I'd like just have these crates right there. Uh, no, not what I wanted. Uh, I want that. Thank you. Yeah, fits perfectly. So do that. I don't know why I copy that one now, but eh, it works, I guess. Do sort of something like that, sort of tilt it, and we'll make it uniform. Do a nice flat right there. Then we'll put some stuff up there, and that should be maybe some stuff right there as well. Be a little bit cheatsy, and then get that. Not what I wanted. There we go. A little bit trigger happy right there. Okay. Turn it. Put it down. And then sort of stack it differently. Then <clears throat> over there we could probably do like another drone maybe. Let's see something small enough to be put there. I don't know. We could do like a windmill. I don't know. Just doesn't fit really. Yeah, I mean, we could do like base defense, have like a cannon, fortress cannon, just be like, and base defense. Nah. See, what? Like, I could just put more crates there, but I want to be something good. <laughs> Military box. Eh, maybe. Nah, too big. So, do like full open one? Nah, that's about the same size. Okay, we definitely need one of these in here. That's like a definite yes. Can't believe I almost forgot to put that in there. Uh, I think it's just a tad bit in the ground. Okay. But nah. Well, we could actually put this against the wall right here. So we'll get that right there. Guess it's something that doesn't move. But I will still disable the model and damage. Just to make sure. Probably do this right here as well. Something that could be moved out, maybe to repair stuff. I think. Let me just click off here real quick. I think this is starting to turn out pretty good. Sort of come in here. Might need some stuff right there. Maybe like a tool crate storage. You know, that's targets. Probably under tools. 
No. Weldon card. No. Weld. No. Weldon card. Put that sort of in the corner right there. That place down, then we just need the welding tank. No, welding tank, thank you. Put like a wrench, maybe some gloves up there. Hmm, we'll do some rope as well. Get real fancy. Turn it like that. Yep, and then we'll do the two gloves. So I'll go ahead and make a simple object. And didn't put it on the same surface, but hey, that's fine. Sort of face it like that way. You also would be more likely to lay it like that. Just sort of like that. Yeah. Uh, I think that's. Could do like canister oil. I think that would look nice. And click up. And there we go. Yeah, I think it looks good. Probably put some papers on there. I'd call it good. Don't need that. It's the arsenal that's actually in there now. <sighs> yeah, I think it's good. I'll put some papers down there. Auto save, thank you. I'll save it again just to be sure. I'm thinking it'd just be documents really. Maybe do like a pen, pencil, notepad, just keep inventory all the stuff in here. Put this at the top. Make sure he is uh, really equipped with everything he needs. Laptop, yeah. Because electronics are the best. We'll do closed, just because nobody's going to be in here. So that way. Yeah. Let's click off again. So we go in there. Yeah, definitely. Looks good. So, air conditioner unit, let's do that. Then that should be it. Potentially. You never know. So, air conditioner unit goes this way. Should be sort of go up there. Yeah, it's sort of right there. Now, what would be really funny is if I've been facing these the wrong way the entire time. Which I'm pretty sure I'm not, because the radiator side is supposed to be on the outside. As far as I'm concerned. There we go. And we got everything we really need. Could put stuff on top of that, but yeah. Looks good. Okay, I think. Don't have lights in here? Do not have lights in there, okay. Let's go ahead and steal one of those. Alright. 
actually, darn it, I need to go steal one of these. Because they actually have the lamp with them. Let's get that. Thank you. Did I get it? We'll find out. And I got it. Yep. Alright, so we'll probably line it sort of like right here-ish. So we go right there. Get that. Eh, eh, no. Ooh, okay. Sort of try to keep these a little bit in line so it looks good. Alright, let's see if that works. No, it does not. Keep it on the same line. There we go. And there we go. Now I might increase the light on this a little tad bit, but it just depends. Um okay. Think yeah, everything in here should be good. You know what? Just so people don't say just copy and pasted it, let's get like let's be like real sneaky. Where's that water this they'll never know. They'll never know. Changes the whole thing, I know. Very stealthy. Let's see. So for the animations on the other base, I've actually been having some trouble with them in multiplayer. I'll see if I can move them over just into their initialization slot over here. I might have to do it for every player because I'm not sure if it needs to be a global command for it to work properly or just run on the server itself. So it'll be uh, interesting to see how that unfolds. So my problem with having this right here is there's this bush that I can't get rid of. So if I moved it over here, there's no longer a bush I can't get rid of. Genius, I know. I'm trying to think. I was saying UAV. Or, sorry, UGV. UAV would not be able to take off from here, unless of course it's the helicopter variant. Drones, there we go. So I was thinking sort of just something like this would be nice, and yes I would like crew with that. Because for the UGV without a uh, gun on it, I think it's a good idea to give that to like squads who are uh, patrolling, because then they can carry gear in that. Sort of adds a uh, new aspect to the game, I think. Definitely went well for the uh, zombie op I did a while back. I think it's almost been about a year for the one. Well, I think it actually ran pretty well. Sort of had more of the survival aspect to it. So I think since I'm done detailing, well, I'll save that for the very end. Need to get rid of all that grass. I think I'll just do like filler stuff. A bit of storage. Get some like crates. Maybe. Oh no, like what else could I put there? military palette but uh, it's like wavy that's the issue so the only thing there I could put is like another UGV smart I know uh, oh yeah there we go and done pretty well and done <laughs> Uh, 
Eh, feel I could be better, but I, I just don't know what to do with that slope. We could set up something like this. Sort of go with ground. There we go. Double table. That tilted. Then let's get some electronics down. Like a survival radio. Rugged tablet, of course, for any of your outdoor activities. Let's get some of that. <sighs> Large screen behind, behind, sort of right there. There we go. Get just that top. And we'll get another UAV, this time meaningful. Sort of place it down right there. Does that have like too wide? I think I can make it work. Yes, I can. There we go. And simple object. Sort of do something like that. I think that would be interesting. And we'll quickly put some crates down in here. We'll do the where's the non Tanoa crates? I think I don't think it was in tools. I think yes I do have Tanoa no I don't. Where are these? <laughs> Alright, crates. There, huh, mark it, oh, hmm, okay. Crater, yep, <laughs> nothing to worry about there. We'll keep these actually non static. Maybe. Nah, they don't need to be static. Why be useful when they can just look good? There we go. Tilt a little bit that way. 
Yeah, there we go. Then do like. Let's see, looking for that wide. Nah, basic weapons, yeah. I'll do sort of like right there. Then. Supply. No, not a supply box. Explosives, we got ammo. Grenades, we don't. Then we'll do the supply box over here. There we go. Just sort of a small ammo shed. Or shack, really. I think that is everything, really, that I want to get detailed. Could do some stuff inside of here, but that will probably be a little bit later. Do like sandbag. Eh. Okay, let's get the lights in. Put down the grass cutters, and then we should be good. Do I still have the grass? Nope. Eh, one day. One day I'll have what I want already copied. But that day is not the day. There we go. Should be what we need. Light every pole right here. I think that should be good. Should be pretty dim. Sort of, I put it right there. And then there we go. Next pole, light, next pole, light, next pole, light, next pole, light. And that's all I have to put down. All in row. But hey. What else do I have to be doing? Actually, I did it actually pretty good because it lines up with that, right? Yeah. A little bit before, but yeah, we'll make an exception. Huh, I actually did a pretty good job. Well, eh, pretty good job. I'll give myself that. There we go. And the other one. Nope. And there we go. And yes, I do know there's this mode that I could be using, but I usually use that for more uh, annoying stuff to actually put down. We'll get a uh, light. Two lights? We'll do two. Sort of on these center bars right here. See, this is lit up, that's lit up, that's lit up, that area is fine. I uh, might want to do this area, might do it like a lamp. This area could do like two lights right here and there. We'll try that out and actually see how it is. But need to go light in here first. So first we'll go in here, get like one light in the center. This will be the dimmer of the two, or, well, yeah, two, really. Let's go right there. And for the rest, I think one down the center and increase the brightness. Every bar can sort of do it at the peak. So that would be one, two, three, four, four. So we'll go ahead and get this down. This value, I think five should be good. Get that copied. And 
there we go. Yeah, you want to come back? Thank you. Very engaging content right here, and we don't have the attack of floating fish this time, so even more so. Come back. Eh, eh. Do hi. Where are you? Eh? Very far away. Okay. Oh, come back. Come back. Eh? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is where I use this. Come on. The red one. Uh, uh, no. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's like inverted my controls on that. Okay, uh, for the sake of time, that works. Doesn't have to be perfect. not like you're gonna see it anyways. Let's get that up right there. And did they get it? No, I did not, but Put it on grid or something? No, I did not. I I don't know why it's acting so weird. It's like so sensitive. And then you know inverted that too, but mostly sensitive. All right, that's lit. Let's see how we have left is the bunkers. Switch us back to. And the best part about this is probably only have to do this aligning once, then I can copy and paste for the rest. There we go. Ah, sorry. Did I get it? No, I did not. It's fine. Not like I wanted to get it first try, anyways. Copy. There we go. Now, did you do what I said? Yes, he did. Okay, so I can't do that. Good to know. Nope. That, yeah, yes. Thank you. Because it'll flip the thing back over for a reason. Don't know why, but you know, maybe it just likes antagonizing me. Who knows? Not me. Otherwise, I'd be telling you. And then, you know, probably fixing it, but. You know. See, these guys at this base get lucky. Main base doesn't have lights in these. They have some crappy lamps. Even though, you know, the lights are lamps, just, you know, upside down, but, you know, it's an improvement. video 
video upside down better playing games upside down better inverted yet to be debated but upside down there you go inverted see for games that just don't have any inverted controls just flip your monitor over and there you go I won't do anything for that I, I can stay in the dark a little military budget when I'm lighting <sighs> when you go back to the uh, we're not gonna talk about that I could do like some red port lights out there but nah we'll go ahead and see how it looks Blah, blah, done. <sighs> trying to think, did I miss any area? Uh, that tower right there, but I can stand it. Ah, uh, I guess I can go like that. I mean, it's not like it's going to be that hard. <sighs> you know what? Once we get the AI down, I'll show you probably my favorite area created so far, just randomly. Just, you know, for the map, not really a base sort of thing. Environment. Skip time. Let's go. Okay. So, increased brightness on all of these. Got it. Those are really bright. Um, don't really need that for that. Alright, these work perfectly for this. That's good to know. And I was right to increase it to 5,000. Then in here looks nice. Yep, definitely looks good. Except you know, shines through the wall for some reason. Don't ask questions. Looks good. That I already know looks good. Can you actually see these from a fair distance now that the light sources are limited? Nope. Yeah, well. No light, light. That's basically the range. So, really just need to increase the range of these, right? Yeah. So, 5k on all of those. That's blinding. And put a light there. Okay. Then put AI down. Done. Oh. Well. Just, uh, we'll pretend, yes, uh, loading glitch, yeah. That's, uh, the issue there. Not my, uh, incompetence of not clicking OK. Is this actually 5,000? No, it's 50,000. Eh, you know, I see five zeros, it's, you know, 5,000, 50,000, close enough, right? Just making sure it's actually 50,000. Uh, I don't know. I... Let's see, I could just have it turn its lights off with a command, but then again, oh, maybe? No. Well, anyways, we'll turn the fuel off just so people can't take it off when uh, they get a terminal. That's 5k. All of these are good. Just need to put down one right here. I think that was every area. Then AI. Oh boy. You know, I might actually work on, on the other base just upgrading everything to that. Because I think it looks far superior to just a lamp. This, well, if 
fairy is ever going to be a light source there. It's going to be a lamp. So we'll just leave it dark for the moment. So I'm trying to think. Gunner turret here or here? I think in here would probably look a little bit better. You know what? No. We'll put it there. More space and then put like a machine gunner up there. Turrets. 50 rays. Place with crew. Let's go. Heavy gunner. Place that way. Back up a little bit. Get like, no, not assistant AA. I want actual AA. Thank you. No linking. So to put them back here. Then grenadier up here at the gate. There we go. Do some AT here. We'll probably have like a small squad ATA around. Get like a guy with AA over here. We'll have him looking out the different direction. Again, we'll probably just do sharpshooter back here. No linking. Yeah. Okay, thinking about it, we probably want AT at the front as well. Do not link. There we go. Now I know he might not be able to use his missiles right here, but AI choice. We'll see how it goes. Probably won't go well probably keep this fairly unstaffed. I'll probably do like a machine gunner in there. I've actually been meaning to get the jet DLC sort of turrets back at the main base. Get that up. I think that would be nice. Really bolster its defenses. Sent like five tanks at it, and with my help, completely destroy the airfield. But then again, actually, no, I think it was more like sent like two tanks initial wave, did like a couple Y32s piloted by myself. Yeah, you know, you might criticize me for doing that and also blowing up my base, but I like to see where its weaknesses are so I can actually fix it. Which, you know, it's worked out pretty well, I would say. We'll probably do like two people per tower, looking out different directions. I don't know, last tower to crew. Now, if I really wanted to get into it, I could customize each of these people's loadouts. And my answer to that is no. These loadouts are fine enough. Do like combat lifesaver, even though you know it kind of makes sense if he's out with the squad. Then I think that should be good for all the towers and sort of placements we have. Then we'll have a couple of people just walking around, maybe like a marksman. However, we won't have anybody setting this time, let the players actually be able to set there. Just have it just have an AI. So let's get our small squad, so we'll probably have just one of each of these. Have Grenadier as their lead. Well, yeah, Grenadier as their lead. Small squad of three. I think there should be more. Do look combat lifesaver. That should be good enough. If I can find it. There we go. And let me get the 
right on. There we go, close the door. And we're, we're good to go again. See, move, there we go. Move, click wrongly, there we go, move there. Move there, move there, move there. Sort of have them come around here. Then cycle. There we go. That's it. No, nope. don't cycle there. The start of a move. Do this. See how that goes. Yeah. Sort of have a guy walking around the medical area. Just like a regular rifleman should do. And I clicked wrong again. Man, how many times is that going to get me? Sort of. Get that and cycle. Now, where'd he go first? There you go. Limited. Oh, sorry. Behavior is safe. Behavior. S no, not a word. Safe. I actually sort of have um. First movement point right there. Sort of have them go right there and then. Wait. Yeah, there we go. This thing timers in seconds, so we'll do like 30 seconds to a max of 15. Yeah, we'll do 30 to 15. Then it's like 20 ish. We'll do 20 mid. 8 point effects. Yeah, let's uh. Don't really need any effects. Though we could have people like talking to each other if. Yeah, like. Not like that, uh, that's just text, I think. But you could actually save, like, uh, people's voices and have them talk together. Should be interesting if I ever do it. I have, like, a group talking back here. Of course, ungrouped. And then, you know, have, like, a helicopter pilot right there. Sir, let's go get his loadout, get rid of all his guns, give him something special, give him like a different hat, no, pistol, headgear, Remove the glasses. And you should be good. There you go. I'd like a beginner station to right there. And I feel it should be enough AI, really. We might have like another group. Yeah. Get like a small group. Talking over here. And engineer. There we go. Then, remembering, I need to get all of the supplies. Should be it.
should be good. Let's check it out. like their formation things bugged but eh, it's fine it can do line I think it turned out pretty well no real question did I raise the brightness on that high enough Probably skip time too much. Nope, all done. There we go. He should have moved, by the way. Yep. Move like dead night. There we go. Should have moved. We'll find uh, Yeah, we'll find him in the morning. Just want to see if this is actually light enough now. It's dim, but should be fine all right let's go see if that soldier actually moved yep. should just walk around silently all right well I think that's it Thank you for watching through, I think this is three, three episodes of this, of me building a base. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll be doing the uh, Zeus thing I discussed before, just Zeus and by myself, and see how that rolls. I think it'll be interesting. I haven't really seen anybody done it before, so uh, thank you. I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs>